South Pole Station, uh, Amundsen Scott Station. I'm in a warming James Way here, affectionately dubbed the Chapel. Uh, I've got all my gear sort of laid out, and um, I'm going to attempt to run an ultra. I ran the marathon here last weekend, and uh, as far as I can tell, uh, no one has ever successfully completed an ultra marathon at the South Pole. So. I'm gonna give it a go. I mean, I'm obviously at least shooting for a 50K, um, but we'll see how it goes. The weather is actually pretty decent right now. I'm gonna go outside and show. Um, very light winds. There's the sign. Um, very light winds. It's about minus 30 C with the wind chill, maybe minus 36 or something. So as long as the wind can hold off, and uh, I can maintain my sort of my core temperature and sort of keep keep vigilant on my nose and my ears. Got a little nip on my nose on the marathon, so as long as I can keep vigilant on that stuff and I do okay, um, I've got tons of food. I think I should be able to do it. So, but we'll see. I'm kind of just going at this thing, just trying to have fun. Um, unlike the marathon, I made this really simple. Um, there are no flights for the next two days and so really I'm just gonna do four mile loops on the ski way um, so I get to basically warm up every four miles and eat and relax and I'm just gonna go as slow as I need to there's no rush I just is totally not about time it's about just getting it done so I don't know I think this is kind of a cool adventure I always wanted to try an ultra in Antarctica and I was there for the Union Glacier Antarctic Marathon in 100k I even had a bib number for it, but I had to fly out that day, so I couldn't run it. Um, so as far as I know, the longest ultra run on the continent was a is 100K, but nothing has ever been documented at the pole other than the marathon. So, And we did have six finishers this year. Uh, it took me about five hours to run it, just a smidge over. Uh, the winner did it in 444, something like that. Um, really windy, crappy day. So anyway, that's it. I will update as I get through loops. All right, time to go out and tackle first four miles. Here we go. Wish me luck. Okay, update. Uh, I've done two laps. Um, it turns out the full loop, all the way to the end of the skiway, all the way down to the uh, past the cul-de-sac, the end of the other end of the skiway, back here is actually 5.02 miles. So. We're gonna call it five. So each loop is five miles. So I've done two. I'm at ten miles now, and um, I feel good. Uh, having some trouble with um, sweating and freezing, and I'm trying to figure out how I want to layer on the next loop. So I'm kind of just taking a break to dry off a little. I've got some, my clothes up in the vent, drying my hat and stuff, drying, and my coat drying there, and another coat there, and and uh, gator here, so I'm just kind of trying to air out, but uh, so far so good. I'm gonna go out and hit the half, half marathon mark, and and uh, weather is still beautiful. It's cold, but there's very little wind, so I'm getting really spoiled. This is like the perfect night to do this. And everybody on station is asleep because I'm night shift, so uh, I'm basically running while everyone's sleeping, and by the time they get up for breakfast, I'll hopefully be at 50K, but we'll see. It's uh, 2.17 a.m. That last lap took me a little over an hour, so I'm basically jogging 12-minute uh, miles or so. Um, the ski way is pretty hard. There's a few spots that are soft, so it's, you know, I'm trying to, like, zigzag down the ski way to figure out which is the best line, but um, it's not bad. It's not bad. So, all right. Okay, update number two. I'm back in the warming hut chapel. My clothes are drying again, <laughs> and um, starting to get a little tired. Uh, Twenty miles, um, real, real easy, slow pace. I'm sort of on track for like close to six hours uh, at 25, so real slow. Um, much slower than I ran the marathon last weekend, so. Um, just enjoying my break. I've got some hot tea, 
uh, candy. Um, surprising number of snacks to eat. So I'm, I'm literally just drying out. Every, every break I've got to sit for at least 15 minutes just to let all my clothes dry out um, because they just get so wet uh, from the sweat and from the breath. Like all my gaiters get frozen and uh, my hat and my ears, like just everything from the moisture coming off me. I got crystals growing all over myself, so uh, I have to kind of wait. But I did find another heater. You can see it right, uh, right there, maybe. Uh, maybe it's not going to come out, but um, warming my gloves and everything. So, um, yeah, just, uh, just chugging along. Huh. And um, what I'll probably do is uh, at 30, it'll be like 6 a.m. right around the time that uh, breakfast is starting. Or no, actually, it'll be 6 a.m. at 25. Uh, it'll be like 8 a.m. So breakfast will be like um, cruising along. And uh, I'll probably go in and get like an actual real full breakfast because these little snack foods aren't cutting it so um, yeah so as far as uh, officialness <laughs> I, don't know if that, I don't know if that's gonna come out but you can see distance 20.32 um, 4.51 yeah so like I said I'm, I'm going real slow just jogging along uh, honestly almost an hour of that time has been sitting here so all right and i guess the next next time i check in will be will be at will be at basically 50k uh, 30 miles so pretty cool first uh ultra i think south pole um i don't know that's that's it so far it's, uh it is 4.20 a.m. All right. All right. We made it to 30. 50K, almost. 30.5, but really 30 because of all the extra just sitting and walking around. So I leave my watch here so the clock keeps ticking. Then I'm going to go into... Uh, the station and uh, get some real breakfast uh, and then come out and try and knock out a few more laps and uh, at least get to I don't know <laughs> it's, whew, it's bright out all right off to the station well, it's been an interesting turn of events. Uh, I've made it to mile 40. forty point six seven. 40.67. Uh, but uh, the last five mile loop, I had to make a detour because the one plane that's here actually did have to take off. So I had to be off the skiway so I did a five mile loop uh, out a different road and back. Um, but the planes are up now, so um, I'm gonna do at least one more skiway um, loop right now to hit 45. But uh, the other interesting news is that the weather has totally turned. Uh, it was sunny and beautiful for eight hours, and now it's blowing at about uh, 10 to 12 knots, and the visibility is dropping. You can kind of see uh, it's snowing. Uh, you can't really see very far. The visibility is maybe, I don't know, maybe a half mile. So it's going to be real uh, unpleasant 
Oh. I had actually toyed with the idea of doing 100K, but I'll be lucky to get the 50, so I'm just going to sit here, warm up, and then take a stab at the next five and see how it goes, but ugh. Just wish the weather would have held off for two more hours, but we'll, uh, hopefully it'll blow over. Um, but I don't think the winds are going to die down, so I, I really got to be careful uh, not to re-knit re my nose and ears. And So that's it for now. Hopefully the next update will be at 50. That'd be really cool. All right, here we go. Final lap, I'm at 45 miles. I'm gonna step out. I'm gonna touch that South Pole sign for the last time. Here we go. Starting my final lap, I actually put my puffy on because I was getting so cold. Last turn around at the end of the skiway, two miles to go. It's beautiful out right now. 48 miles, two to go. All right. Great success. So I just finished my 10th lap. It took me over 13 hours total to go 50 miles. That's my slowest 50 miler ever. But I'm curious to see what my moving time is because I figure I averaged about a 20 minute break every five miles. So 20 minutes times 10 is 200 minutes. That's over three hours. So I imagine my actual running time was more like 10 hours. But still, I don't care. It's done. Oh, I'm so cold and hungry. First 50 miler at South Pole. Excellent. All right, time to go get some food in the galley.